Day one camp, Paradise Valley. Sunduk finishing packing up. <laughs> Stan the man back there, still working on his tent. Hiding in his tent, there he is. So day one uh, camp and uh, hiking over to Woods Creek and uh, Arrowhead Lake today, day two. And uh, hopefully get to Ray Lakes on day three. So uh, we'll check in as we go.
I think that's supposed to be the story, but. So hey guys, just a little bit of beta on the first two days on our trip here, the Ray Lakes Loop. So we hiked out on September 10th, 2021 uh, out of Cedar Grove Red End and hiked about 10 and a half miles to Upper Paradise Valley. The trail is a really good trail, obviously. Uh, Kings Canyon is right out of Kings Canyon, so you'd expect it to be a good trail. And a lot of day hikers hiking up to Miss Falls. Um, the first couple of miles pretty flat, and then as you climb up to Miss Falls, um, you know, it does get a bit rockier. There's a ton of bugs, which was a surprise for September 10th. This late in the season, you wouldn't expect it. It wasn't mosquitoes, it was gnats, um, and it was just like clouds of them. So uh, that dissipated as we got up to like uh, middle um, Paradise Valley, um, and the trail gets a little bit steeper, a little rockier, and there's a lot of stairs. Um, but all in all, uh, day one was a good day. Beta on day two, uh, we hiked from Upper uh, Paradise Valley up to Dollar Lake. You can see Dollar Lake behind me. You can only camp one night in Ray Lakes. So we chose to camp on the doorstep here at Dollar Lake. The hike from Upper Paradise to Woods Creek Crossing is pretty tame. Um, you know, there's some ups, but it's uh, really, you know, pretty easy. Um, but the climb from Woods Creek Crossing to uh, Dollar Lake, and maybe it was just because it was late, later in the afternoon, was tough. All in all, it was about 10 miles, about 3,200 feet of gain, um, and a good day. So uh, tomorrow is a short day. We're only going to hike up to Ray Lake, so it's like two, two and a half miles. We're going to do some laundry, and then we're going to take a day hike in the 60 Lake Basin uh, and just enjoy the day and enjoy Ray Lakes, which is why we're on this loop to begin with. We wanted to experience Ray Lakes. So we'll check in as we go. Back to your rock. Putting him in his cheeks. He's eating that one. Stuffing, stuffing it in there. <laughs> Ha 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 
This is why people do the Ray Lakes Loop. This is gorgeous, just unbelievable. The lake is, the water's so clear you can see through to the bottom. Just unbelievable. We hiked up here on day three from Dollar Lake. I'll tell you, the views between Dollar Lake and Ray Lake, it's just unbelievable. You'll see some of the videos and some of the photos here on this, on this video, but it just won't do justice to the beauty between Dollar Lake and Ray Lakes. What an unbelievable place. And that alone, that section alone, makes Ray Lakes Loop worth the trip. Um, we hiked up here, as I said, from Dollar Lake yesterday. It was only about a three mile hike. Uh, we spent the whole afternoon here doing laundry and enjoying the day. And I mean, what a place to be able to spend an afternoon, right? Um, rested up uh, today, day four, we're heading over Glen Pass. It's about three miles, 1700 feet. Uh, we should knock that off pretty quickly, well before lunch. And then we're gonna head down to um, uh, to Junction Meadow along Bob's Creek and uh, camp there for the night. Dry out a little bit. Last night was a little bit cold and uh, we did get a little bit of condensation on the tents, so we'll need to dry out the, the bags. And um, yeah, that'll be day four and then day five we'll hike out. <clears throat> but what an unbelievable morning and <laughs> what an unbelievable place, huh? This doesn't get any better than this. So this was the night of day four. This was our kitchen. Very nice of them to put these tables here. Disappointed they didn't leave tablecloths and silverware. <laughs> Morning of day five. Breakfast at the, uh, the kitchen. 
Yesterday, day four, beta climbing uh, Glen Pass was actually super easy. It's about 1,600 feet of gain. Uh, it was uh, pretty tame, and uh, we got up there in about an hour and a half from Ray Lakes. Like I said, really, uh, really tame. Beautiful to be on top of the, the pass. The weather up there yesterday was just phenomenal. Uh, the wind was uh, uh, pretty light, and we just enjoyed the sun and uh, spent a little time up there. Hiking down was about 4,000 feet down to here, which is Junction Meadows. Uh, brutal pounding downhill, 4,000 feet is always hard on the legs and the knees. So we got here, we were pretty whipped. Um, and uh, But a beautiful, beautiful campsite and uh, had a great night. And today, day five, we're hiking out, heading over to uh, the uh, Cedar Grove Road End. And another 3,000 feet of pounding downhill. So that should be a lot of fun. Uh, anyway, we'll check in as we go. Roads end by Bailey Bridge, two miles. This sign, roads end by Bailey Bridge, 2.2 miles. So Sundux measuring that right there is 0.2 miles. Which means we've hiked about a thousand miles on this trip. What was your favorite parts? Uh, climb up the Colab Pass. So what do you think of the Ray Lakes Loop? What's your opinion? I'm 100% for clockwise. Yeah. I think, it, I think it's a really good way to acclimate, get the buildup of the red blood cells. Plus, the country is so incredibly beautiful. Yeah. Your favorite part? Like that, was your favorite part that was your favorite part of the hike, right? Going up Glen Pass? Yeah, yeah, it was by far. Yeah, and that's not to say that the rest was not nice. The rest was fantastic, but that was the that was the highlight. Yeah. Although we'll see when I when I catch sight of my car again. See. That might be a highlight. <laughs> I feel pretty good that I have keys. <laughs> All right, now here's the tough question. Yeah. Thoughts on the organizer? That's a dangerous question to ask. There was an organizer. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't. Believe, I didn't believe all those things that I heard about. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs>